Warning, this article contains spoilers about Episodes 1 and 2 of The Sinner. The Sinner Episode 3, titled Part 2, will air August 15 on USA Network. The Sinner Episode 2, aired last night, August 8, in America. The show will arrive in the UK on Netflix later this year. Who is in the new cast of The Sinner? Season 1 dropped in November so it is thought Season 2 will follow suit. If you can't wait until then, you can watch episodes of The Sinner the day after they air in America via Amazon Instant Video for £2.49 per episode. What will happen in The Sinner Season 2, Episode 3? The synopsis for Episode 3, Part 3 reads Heather makes a startling realization about Marin, played by Hannah Gross, as Vera, Carrie Coon, and Julian, Elisha Hennig are dealt a hard blow. The promo trailer for Episode 3 Part 3 is not giving too much away about what is to come. The 22nd trailer kicks off with the words you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. The camera cuts to scenes of a petrified Julian being led out of a house in handcuffs. She says, these people will never understand us. Vera is then seen talking to Julian. They will do everything they can to hurt us. The camera then shows dramatic scenes of a woman screaming and putting her hand against a huge rock. Potentially the same one that Detective Novak, Natalie Paul, came across in a barn during her exploration of the Mosswood Commune. But what does this rock symbolize? The trailer ends with Detective Novak looking startled saying oh my god. There is potential that this is where she makes the discovery about her friend Marin referred to in the episode synopsis. Marin is Heather's high school best friend who disappeared. Derek Simons told Variety it's actually Marin's narrative and what happened to her that all of the other character perspectives are revealing. That's the mosaic that is coming together. Is Marin the hooded ghost? What poison did Julian use? So far season 2 has seen New York police detective Harry Ambrose, Bill Pullman, and his colleague detective Heather Novak, Natalie Paul investigating the double murder of Mr. and Mrs. Lowry who were poisoned in their hotel room. The main suspect is their 13-year-old son Julian but something about him does not add up. In episode 2, we meet Vera, who previously appeared in Julian's memories of being bullied in his foster home. At first it is assumed Vera is a therapist, however, she then appears in Keller, New York claiming to be Julian's mother. But is she? Detective Ambrose learns that Vera is the leader of a mysterious commune called Mosswood. Vera explains that anybody can join the commune but only if they abide by certain rules. She also said the members must work to shine a light on inner shadow and encounter parts inside you. Hopefully, all details of the rules and work of the commune will be revealed in Episode 3. Is Jessica Beale in the Sinner Season 2? Showrunner Derek Simons told in Wire, there's no god or figurehead in Mosswood. It's about deep self-exploration, so it has a very therapeutic, psychological aspect to it. There's no belief system. I thought that was a great thing to put in front of Harry Ambrose, who is pretty closed off psychologically as a character. To encounter a woman like Vera, who comes from this community would be particularly challenging and also seductive for him because he's interested in being exposed and being known and yet terrified of it. From the beginning of Season 2, it has been clear that Detective Ambrose was reluctant to return to his hometown of Keller, New York and it was hinted that this may because of his childhood past which involved a turbulent relationship with his mother. Episode 2 revealed that Ambrose, like Julian, was a foster child. As Julian has now been exposed to the outside world, he encourages Julian to open up to him about his past. Julian reveals he has nightmares of a hooded ghost putting this hand inside his chest which Ambrose believes is a sign of trauma. Fans have been speculating that the hooded ghost represents Vera and the shining blue light associated with the specter symbolizes the possible hypnosis machine behind her that appears in Julian's memories. Is it possible that Mr. and Mrs. Lowry were posing as Julian's parents so they all could escape the commune? What is the Sinner Season 2 about? The first season of The Sinner was based on the German novel of the same name by Petra Hamis Farin was a standalone story. For a second season, a whole new plot was created for Detective Ambrose to investigate. This meant that Jessica Biel, who starred as main character Cora Tanetti in the first season, would not be returning. Cora was sentenced to two years in a psychiatric hospital for stabbing a man to death on the beach. Beale serves as an executive producer on season two of the show. The official synopsis for season two reads, Season two lures Detective Harry Ambrose back to his hometown in rural New York to assess an unsettling and heart-wrenching crime. 
parents murdered by their 11-year-old son, with no apparent motive. As Ambrose realizes there's nothing ordinary about the boy or where he came from, the investigation pulls him into the hidden darkness of his hometown. He's pitted against those who'll stop at nothing to protect its secrets, and a mysterious woman who proves to be a complicated, enigmatic piece to this hunting puzzle. The Sinner Season 2 airs on Wednesdays on the USA Network. 